Alright, so check this out. This is what I'm currently getting out of my Sawyer squeeze. That's as hard as I can squeeze it. And there's no flow. Actually, it's kind of weird because I had, it was, uh, there was actually a little bit of flow coming out of it. There we go, just barely a drip. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and cut this thing open. Um, that's the larger Sawyer squeeze. I'm going to go ahead and cut this open, then we're going to find out what's inside. Maybe we can see, you know, if there's like calcium buildup or some sort of, you know, maybe a sediment deposit or something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and probably spare you me cutting it open, but we'll look at it after it's cut open. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, I got it taken apart. It wasn't very hard. You just take a uh, drill bit and you drill out that little nipple right there and then that one right there and then it allows you to uh, unscrew the whole unit. Now this is the filtering cartridge that is uh, inside. The flow goes from, uh, from there to the clean water there. You have a couple of... Um, couple of little rubber, rubber uh, seals right here and then you have like a weird they're almost like uh, angel hair spaghetti strains folded then in half so what you have right there if you can see it is well you definitely see some dirt but you see how it's kind of folded over on itself and then placed into the cartridge Definitely see some dirt and stuff in there. Um, black, kind of mildewy looking, you know, maybe sediment probably. Just from filtering some dirty water. Um, I don't see... It's kind of weird how this thing works. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull, see if I can pull that stuff out from inside of it. But... Uh, you know, as far as right now goes, I don't really see any, like, you know, like, filter filter that would get clogged. But, uh, oh, okay. So right here is, basically, that's not free, those aren't freestanding. That's, that's almost like a large filter right here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and explore a little bit further into this and, uh, see if I can't take it apart a little bit more um, okay so there it is I went ahead and took a hacksaw and cut around the circumference of that releasing you know the main I guess filter head this is all bound tightly together and then wrapped with this small little mesh a little bit of mesh uh, filter I guess and then this stuff, it feels like like rubber. Like if you took apart like the inside of like a, uh, a uh, golf ball. Like it's just this weird, I don't know, weird material. But it's all bound together. And you look inside there, I don't feel any like hard calcium type deposits or anything. I mean, you of course see, you know, where there's been... You know debris from uh, from water getting filtered through but nothing it's not like hard or anything like that indicating to me that that would be you know calcium buildup and stuff which would you know stop the filter from from working um, I've had this filter a very long time probably five or six years <laughs> you know it just recently stopped working last year and it didn't completely fail on me it the the rate of water flow just was absolute crap on a vac or uh, on a backpacking trip, and I decided to uh, to just get a mini. I'm actually probably gonna buy another one of these. I I honestly I have that Catadine. Um, ooh, what is that thing called? Uh, the Bee Free. So I'm gonna be trying that out. I got one of those on uh, on eBay for like 25 bucks or something. Uh. 
so there you have it. That's what's in the Sawyer. Nothing that I can really tell that it's, um, you know, that it's been like calcium damaged. Um, you know, maybe this super fine screen right here that is just super, super, super fine. Um, which maybe you can see that. So it's all those fibers meet and then you can see like their little porous parts down there. See how they're like super porous? Maybe all those tiny little heads get clogged. And then you get enough of them clogged and there you go. Your filter is trashed. But um, I guess one thing to note and one thing I didn't know until I was watching a couple videos is that you're supposed to wash this out with or backflow it, you know, when you get back before you store it with like a distilled water. Something that doesn't have any any anything floating around in it or any any sort of stuff that's gonna get trapped in there when it uh, does eventually dry out. So that's just one thing to note. Um, thanks for watching, man. Um, I have some other videos out there. I've been trying to post like as much stuff as I can, uh, just on previous trips and things like that. Um, I have some things that I would like to do here in the future. Um, definitely have some some cool hikes in the Rocky Mountains coming up this summer. So uh, whatever, if you like the video, subscribe. I think I have one subscriber right now, <laughs> which uh, pretty cool. And that actually might be one of my buddies. So. <laughs> Whatever, man. I got some probably hammock videos and, and just, you know, all around, you know, cool things. I just got a, um, a bike that I'm kind of turning into, you know, quasi touring bike or whatever. I might, uh, ride that out to the Pawnee grasslands and, um, you know, see what's out there and maybe camp off it and stuff. But, uh, you know, I got some cool things maybe coming up. So stay tuned. Thank you.